the Defense Research and Development Organization has completed a design phase of the advanced medium combat aircraft, India's indigenous fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. With government approval secured in April last year, the project is now progressing towards its first prototype flight by late 2028. Designed with cutting-edge technology, the AMCA aims to rival existing fifth-generation fighters like Russia's Su-57 and the United States' F-35 and F-22. The uh, aircraft model which you are showing in the back side, uh, uh, it is showing our manufacturing capability. We have come out with the design, what we wanted as per the user requirements, that is the Air Force requirements. They have asked to make us a uh, fifth-generation aircraft, twin-engine-based aircraft, so this all will give you, I mean, uh, comparable to S, uh, so, uh, Sukhoi 57 or you, if you have seen uh, F-35, it is comparable to that aircraft, that category it is. It has the stealth capability. It has been uh, designed with a diverter supersonic intake, which you can see. A host of new technologies which uh, we have worked upon, which includes the internal weapon bay, which has an all-complete glass cockpit which has uh, capability of uh, beyond visual range missiles and air-to-air -air capability, air-to-ground capability. It's a complete 5.5 uh, generation aircraft. The AMCA is a twin-engine, single-seat stealth fighter designed for air superiority, strike missions and electronic warfare. It is being developed in collaboration with multiple DRDO labs and private sector industries. We are on uh, the right track. As on day, we have already identified the industries for all this, uh, the manufacturing. And uh, we have already initiated several of the uh, works towards that uh, uh, for the structural assemblies and the systems. The AMCA program represents a major advancement in India's defence aviation sector, with production set to commence in the next decade. The Indian Air Force is expected to induct the aircraft as part of its long-term modernisation strategy.